It's my pleasure to invite uh, Dr. Ratan Kumar Giri, uh, who is from Technion Israel Institute of Technology. Uh, he has completed his PhD from NIT Rurkela in the year 2018. Uh, and the title of his talk for uh, this evening is Superchloric uh, Functions for the Parabolic P Laplace Equation in the Fast Diffusion Case. So, yeah, welcome, uh, Dr. Ratan Kumar Giri. I am going to speak about uh, a generalized class of super solution, so called superchloric function related to parabolic P Laplace Equation. And it is a joint work with Professor Jua Kilman and his PhD student at my previous workplace, Alto University of uh, This is the outline of my talk. Here is the PDE, parabolic P Laplace equation. I will speak about uh, in the singular case, which means the parameter P lies between 1 and 2. We will discuss here super solution related to this PDE. Although there are several ways to define a super solution, here we consider the notion of which super solution, which defines to uh, uh, weak formulation of the problem under some under you know, integral sign. Then I will speak about P superchloric function, which is defined to, for example, by using a weak composition, uh, by using a composition principle. The main goal of this talk is to discuss the possible collection between these two class of functions. More precisely, what I mean to say is that take a P superchloric function. Now, the question is that does it belongs to a certain superchloric? If it does, what do you have to accept? What is the nonlinear theory of P superchloric function in this condition? Related to all these questions, I will discuss here. Okay. Uh, when we have a PD, it's always a good question. Uh, what is the domain of definition here? In principle, here we are in Rn plus 1, where the last dimension is related to the time. After all, we could speak about solution, super solution to the PD in arbitrary domain of Rn plus 1, but we will consider here the space time cylinder, which is given by omega, and we have parabolic boundary, which is defined like this. Similarly, space time box and its parabolic boundary is defined. Well, uh, when we talk about weak solution or super solution to APD, we need to somehow assume a certain subolo space as a solution space. Here we consider our solution sol solution space is the parabolic subolo space. It is it is denoted by this and it consists of all function U, all measurable function U, such that for a fixed moment of time it is in the subolo space and if we fix X as a function of U, it is in X. Uh, one observation here is that uh, no regularity in time is assumed. There are some certain articles where the regularity in time is assumed. Thus, we say that a function u is a weak solution to our problem if u belongs to this parabolic subolo space locally and u it satisfies this integral equality for a big compacting support space notes function in our domain. If this if, uh, integral is non-negative for every non-negative state function, then we call it as a super solution. Similarly, sub-solution is defined. And continue, if the weak solutions are continuous, we call it as p caloric function. We divide our problem into two cases, basically depending on the value of p. One is subcritical type, if p lies between this range, and another one is supercritical type, if P lies between in this range. Now the question is what about regularity? Uh, the weak solution are in fact uh, locally holder continuous and and for the supercritical case, the weak solution are in fact locally bounded. However, in the subcritical case, there exists some unbounded weak solution. Due to the non-local nature of the problem, uh, we cannot add constant to a solution. Solution cannot be scaled. And some of the solution need not be a solution in general. But there are some things which works. We can translate. So take a solution and translate it. Then you do not have a solution anymore, but you do have a super solution. 
which is a good good thing there. And also uh, the super solution for the players when in Pinkerton two Alwar Singh. One important observation here is that uh, when we talk about solution, then PD tells us some regularity in time. But when we talk about super solution, PD does not tell us anything about it. Anything about regularity in time. For example, if you take this step function, it is a nice function and constant locally. It is not a solution, but it is a super solution. Okay. Uh, uh, when we have a PD, we always wanted to know what is the most possible solution that we may have. Here is the barren blood type solution for the supercritical case. The barren blood type solution is not defined. For the subcritical case, it looks a bit complicated. However, it is a it is in explicit form, and it is a solution to the problem, our problem, in the upper half space. But thing is that, uh, sorry, uh, but it is not a super solution in any domain containing body because it fails to belongs to correct subordinate space due to the gradient term. Because the gradient fails to integrate to the route bound by power theory. So, this example tells us that if you take a if you take the truncation, then it belongs to the certain subplot space and they are each super solution. So, this example tells us that increasing limit of super solution may not be a super solution. Now, the question is that what is the class of function? Which is closed under this in increasing convergence? The answer is P supercalibrate function. A function V is said to be a P supercalibrate if it is version continuous against in a subset and it obeys the parabolic convergent principle in each space time box, boxes. Now, if you think about the electric case, this class of functions are known as superhomic function and as we know that any straight line is harmonic, so the composition principle tells us that this superharmonic class of functions looks like convex function. And one important observation here is that this P supercalibrate function does not actually belongs to a parabolic subval space. But the only connection with the PD is through this composition principle. Here I listed some examples of the supercalibrate function. For example, the zero extension of barren blood type solution, it is not a super solution, but it is a P supercalibrate function. Similarly, the this step function, it is not a solution, but it is a P supercalibrate function. Now let me show you what is known to us. So for P because is equal to two, every bounded P supercalibrate function are, is a weak super solution. And for the unbounded case, these supercalibrate functions are divided into two mutually exclusive spaces depending on it belongs to L log P, L P minus 2 flow or not. If it belongs to L P minus 2 locally, then it is in fact in L1 and it is a super solution to our problem. And if it does not belong to L P minus 2 locally, then there is a time slice in which the function is precisely infinity. One such example of this class of function, which is I call as a complementary class of, this is called barren blood type solution, uh, barren blood -like type class of function, and this is complementary to this class. So one example to this class of function is basically friendly giant. And this function, if you take this function where you need a solution to this query, and uh, it can be obtained from by by separable law of So now the question is, uh, what about the similar case? And that is precisely our goal to discuss here. Uh, I will first consider the bounded space, then I will speak about the unbounded space. For the bounded case, uh, we have shown that every bounded P supercalibrate function is also a super solution for the full range of P, which means I need to say that P is between one and infinity. There will be no, there will not be any problem. To see this, uh, we mainly use three results. Uh, the first one is the obstacle problem. Uh, it says that there is a weak super solution, 
which is in fact unique, such that uh, u is greater than or equal to psi in the inside the domain, where psi is the continuous obstacle, and u points out with psi on the parabolic boundary of meta. And in this open set, u is in fact be continuous with solution. And moreover, it is the smallest weak super solution above psi. The next result what we, we have used is uh, basically sketchable type energy estimate. Uh, it says that if you have a bounded weak super solution, then the LP norm of gradient uh, is, uh, uh, is locally bounded. Okay. Uh, we have obtained this estimate by basically treating this test function in our modified time modified equation. Next result what we have used is basically the point-wise limit of sequence of super solution. It says that uh, if you have a uniformly bounded sequence of super solution, then the limit is also with super solution. That's the result set basically. So here is the main result for the bounded set. Uh, again, I'm saying that uh, we have proved that uh, uh, Every bounded weak super solution, uh, every bounded T super solution function is also a weak super solution for the full range. There will be no problem. To see this, we mainly use uh, the truncations and the lower semi continuity property of T super solution function. Since T super solution function are lower semi continuous, so we can approximate it uh, by a continuous integral sequence of continuous. Continuous integral sequence of continuous function uh, by a sequence of continuous integral function. Now you solve obstacle problem for each size and you will get a super solution. Now take the limit. That is how the theorem is proved. Okay. Now let us move to the case when the piece of function is unbound. And we will consider here the case basically. When P lies between in this integral, right? uh, which means we, we, we are considering the supercritical case. We still don't know what happened for the subcritical case. The main key idea of what we have used here is to again consider the transition and to apply major type as uh, major type iteration by using Sokolov inequality and Cachipoli type energy estimate. Here is the Sokolov inequality. In, in parabolic setting, uh, it looks like this. And the second one is the catchable type energy estimate uh, for the unbounded case. It looks this stage. Uh, however, we have obtained this, this catchable type energy estimate by using this as a test function in our modified equation. Basically. So, here are the following results we have, we have shown for the supercritical case. Uh, it says that if you have a non negative T supercritical function and if it belongs to L alpha low, where alpha is bigger than this magical number, then we have beta integral. And we have obtained this magical number from our construction of the pool. And the, for the gradient term, it belongs to L2 low whenever Q less than this exponent. One important remark I want to mention here is that. If t is bigger than this number, then this exponent is strictly greater than one. So in this case, the gradient u exists in the Sobolov sense. But if t lies between in this range, then this exponent is strictly less than one. So in this case, we cannot think about the gradient u in the Sobolov sense. So in this case, we have interpreted gradient u as a limit of transition. And if we interpret gradient u in this case, for this case, we when we get in this number, then it coincides with the Sokolov gradient almost everywhere. And here is the bound blood type profile for the unbounded case. Of course, we, we are in the particular case. It says that uh, if u is non negative and if it belongs to this. LP space, then it is a, it is a super solution. Now the natural question uh, will come here. What happens if you does not belong to this space basically? And here is one such example. 
uh, is Hong in, in Philippines. Uh, it does not belong to any L2 space for you greater than this magical number. And however, it is, it is super caloric and it is a, uh, it is a, uh, it is a, uh, it is not a super solution in any domain containing origin. So here is the complementary type to the Barnumblad type condition. Uh, it says that if we have a non-negative T super function and if it if it does not belong to this space, then there is a point in the space in which where the function is precisely infinity. If you recall the case when t bigger than two, then we will, we will have a singularity in time. But for the singular case, we will have a singularity in space, not in time, which is a difference. So to show this, we have used mainly the hardness type inequality for the continuous loop solution, and also there is a version of hardness inequality uh, for the uh, with super solution as well. By using these two, we have shown that this type of profile holds. So before I conclude that, one, let me conclude uh, that what we have seen so far is that uh, every bounded physical function. Uh, is a big super solution for the full range and for the super critical case every one the unbounded physical function are divided into two mutual boxes depending on if it belongs to l of t l of t this case or not if it belongs to then it is a super solution if it does not belong to then there is a point in the space which one has the function as with the function is precisely infinite. Therefore, I want to say uh, thanks. Uh, thank you, Ratan Kumar. Uh